first I'm joined by the Conservative MP John Whittingdale, Chair of the Commons Committee on Culture, Media and he's going to be quizzing, uh, quizzing the Murdochs, father and son, on Tuesday as well of course as Rebecca Brooks. Now famously Miss Brooks never gives television interviews but this is actually not quite true because she did once talk to my predecessor David Frost back in 2001. I strongly believe we're on the side of the right, the public are behind us and we will continue to make sure that people understand the basis of Sarah's law which is controlled public access. It isn't a free-for-all. That was of course Sarah's law about identifying uh, paedophiles. Now that Rebecca Brooks and the Murdochs have accepted John Whittingdale's invitation to come to Westminster and answer questions relating to the phone hacking scandal, what exactly can we expect on Tuesday? Will there be blood on the carpet in the Boothroyd room? Well, I'm joined by Mr Whittingdale now, thank you. Um, they've accepted your invitation, um, but uh, after quite a lot of, of pushing and tugging, um, and there were sort of extraordinary stories that you would have gone to the extent of actually having them arrested by an officer of the House of Commons and I think they would have been banged up in part of the Tower of Westminster. Is, is, is that actually true or is that a sort of joke? I'm not sure anybody really knows uh, because it hasn't been done for hundreds of years. Rebecca Brooks accepted the yes. invitation to come to the committee. Um, James Murdoch and Rupert Murdoch both said that they were unavailable on that day so the committee passed a formal motion to serve a summons on them. Yes. Now, had they refused to uh, accept that, then I would have gone to the House of Commons and asked for a, a motion to be passed by the whole House requiring them to attend. Uh, now, that would have been pretty much unprecedented. If they then failed to abide by that, I mean, to be and honest, they, I don't think anybody knows what happened. But next. in theory, at any rate, they would have been marched to the Commons, and there's a little, there is a little room where the, which, which acts as a sort of cell. I believe there is in the clock tower somewhere. In the clock tower, an astonishing thought. Anyway, they are coming. They're coming on Tuesday, yeah. um, and are they all going to sort of sit in front of you together, or do you know how you're going to proceed? I think that, particularly now, the situation's changed slightly. That Rebecca Brooks is no longer an employee of News Corp. Um, I think we will probably want to talk to her separately from Rupert and James Murdoch. Yeah. Now, uh, one of the things that you're going to have to be very careful about is not prejudging the, the judicial inquiry and so on. But presumably, one of the great questions is about this very large number of emails which were being held by News International's lawyers, Harbottle and whatever they're called, yeah. um, for years um, without being acknowledged or analyze is that is that sort of at the heart of what you're going to be looking at this is such a immensely complicated saga and yep. there are a vast number of questions that most certainly is one of them because we looked at all of this two years ago uh, when we had an inquiry mm. which was when we were assured by all of our witnesses that nobody had any involvement it was all down to one man now mm. at that time we were told 2,500 emails had been gone through in great uh, with great care and no evidence had ever emerged that there was any involvement outside of yeah. Clive Goodman so yes we will certainly want to be asking if that was the case how, how come now suddenly all this is coming out what would make um, a good day for the committee in terms of you know the breakthrough answers that you'd like to get well I mean I think the sole purpose of the committee is to try and get closer to what actually happened and to yeah. uncover the truth so I mean I, I would like and I, I hope there's a good chance that all three of the witnesses will come determined to try and do their best to help us we obviously understand there's an ongoing police inquiry but that shouldn't I think prevent us from learning a lot more about what went on who knew it and who authorized it do you think your committee was lied to in the past well we said at the time in 2009 that we simply didn't believe what we had been told that that it was one person we said we thought it inconceivable that just one person could have been involved um, so yes I think we made it pretty clear then what we didn't know was whether or not the witnesses who appear, were appearing before us actually knew more than they were saying mm. but now hopefully that will become clearer yeah. James Murdoch himself has said the committee or at least Parliament was misled so essentially he's told us we were right um, you've got um, a lot of advice helpful advice no doubt in all the days to news papers about what to ask and so on but also about the tone of the committee um, because um, there is presumably a certain amount of danger, lots of big egos in the room, that there will be grandstanding and shouting and so on. What, what are you going to try to achieve as chairman? Well, what I don't want, I don't want us to be a lynch mob. On the other hand, I don't want us to let them off without properly addressing the questions which we have. So I, mean, I, I hope, and I'm sure that my uh, colleagues on the committee will take the same view, that we will be calm and we will ask factual, detailed questions. Mm. And you've got us, you know, 
a few hours to do this, but if you don't get what you want, will you have them back again? Well, obviously, I mean, it's far too soon to say that. I mean, we have to bear in mind there is a, a judicial inquiry, and the judicial inquiry will obviously have more power than a select committee. It will take much longer. So, I mean, I think the full picture will never emerge, well, not emerge until that inquiry is complete. Yes. Now, you heard on the news there was um, comments about you being a close friend of Rebecca. You're on her Facebook page. I'm slightly shocked that you have a Facebook page. I, I, have, I have 570 friends on Facebook. Whether or not Rebecca Brooks is still one of them, I rather doubt since I have summoned yeah. her to appear before me. But you're not closely connected I, to her. I have been doing the Culture, Media and Sport Brief in one capacity or another for 10 years. I've met almost every major figure in the, in the media. You know, I mean, this mm. story, I think, appeared in The Independent on Sunday. I've met Mr. Alexander Lebedev. He's not a Facebook friend, but that's probably because he's not on Facebook, I suspect. <laughs> yes, all right. Well, you have a busy week next week, so good luck. And thank, thank you very, very much, much indeed for joining us.